How cheap, how cheap was that 68 yard game at the head? Ah, very cheap. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And coach emphasizes running to the ball. So I was, of course, rewarded for, you know, making a play yep. from the other side of the field to uh, give our defense a chance to make a stop. And and if they weren't hitting on hitting me on that throughout the week, running to the ball, running to the ball, they could have scored, but not me running to the ball and making a stop on the however however close they were. That allows us to also leave with zero points. You guys have three shutouts now, or is it just one? Uh, I think it's four. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say they don't actually give you. Well, they well, don't give you credit for them. Yeah, what well, they should be. They should be. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, offense may have gave them some points, but <laughs> I still count that as a shutout. All right. That, uh, that first drive where they go 19 plays, did you guys need to make any type of uh, adjustments or, or changes, um, you know, after that drive? Because after that, you know, you, you pretty much shut them down the rest of the first half when they only got 15 yards. Yeah, I, I don't think we need to make any adjustments or anything. I just think we needed to calm down. You know, we weren't used to a team driving that, that far downfield on us, so they were giving us all they could, you know, different formations, look over just motions, you know, getting us to communicate, getting us to align different. So just calming down and being subtle and just, you know, everything is going to be okay. And also stopping them to, you know, make a make a point and capitalize on that we're not going to let you drive the field and score. And then uh, with Braylon, um, I know you guys don't do a lot of live tackling in practice, but, you know, you see him out there against these other teams just bouncing off guys. It takes multiple defenders to bring him down. You know, from your experience, what, what is it like to try and take him to the ground? I mean, honestly, I didn't think that, you know, Braylon being as big as he is and what he is now, again, and what he's doing to opposing teams, I didn't know he was capable of it because, you know, our defense not knowing how good it is before the season, we're, we're stuffing Braylon. You know, we're punching the ball out, hitting him, stopping him in his tracks. So to see him prosper on, on game day, it just, I think it gives, uh, he, he, I think he'll give us a little bit of credit. Do you, do you feel like you're playing personally, you're playing your best football, your career right now over these last couple games? Yes, sir. I think I am playing my best football, but I also think I could play a lot better and still make a lot more plays and pass breakups and whatnot because I'm starting to take more risks at the same time. I'm starting to do more film study and know what the offense is trying to do and know what my mistakes were in the past and learning from that knowing other teams are going to try to use those plays against me. What risks are you more willing to take than the, maybe what you've done in the past? Uh, playing the ball in the air, you know, seeing it in the air and realizing it's mine no matter where the receiver is. You know, once the ball's in the air against the first drive, uh, they ran a double move on me after they ran a curl and just after the receiver stopped and go, I, I, I know what you're doing at that point. So the ball has to be in the air. So I no longer pay no attention to him and knew that the, when the ball is in the air, that is mine. You got shaken up on that one play down the you just falling the football or? Yeah, well, it was my elbow actually. Oh, okay. So I tried to get underneath the ball okay. and my, the ground pushed the elbow into my, into my sternum. Oh, so you lost it? Yeah, I, I lost it. You just saw just a couple plays? Yeah, just maybe one. Oh, okay. two. You, know, you were on the obviously here in 2019, a couple years ago, when the offense had JT, Cephas, you guys could stretch the field, you could run the ball, the defense was playing well. Mm -hmm. Are you starting to see some similarities? Because the passing game's clicking. Oh, yeah. You've got a young tailback. And oh, the yeah. Defense is yeah, I mean, it, it's hard to compare, you know, Braylon Allen to JT, yeah. but I definitely think we have the same strengths of that, that offense. You know, it took us a while to find our, uh, it took a little bit longer than. We, what we wanted to yeah. find our identity, but yeah. I think once we found our identity, we, we, we got it rolling. What has what Dean just meant to this defense? Um, you know, obviously, you guys are going to play offenses you know, going forward that you know, have three, four really good receiving threats. Well, what does it mean that just he's emerged here you know, this season and giving you guys a little more depth than maybe what people realized you had? For sure. I, I think Dean rises to the occasion of every wide receiver he goes against. He doesn't shy down. And I knew that Dean was going to be a great player when, you know, the number three from Penn State was supposed to be a, you know, maybe an all Big Ten receiver. But Dean didn't shy away from no challenge. And for a challenge like that for your first game and to do well, you can only grow from that and learn from that.